for a moment it was silent, and then it actually has sounds to it. What's up, everyone? My name is Swift Edge, and today we are playing Uncle Panko's Terrible Little Farm. I saw this on Itch and right away because I saw the style of it, and my mind went, yes, we're playing this. We are spending our summer vacation at our uncle's farm, but we got some weird rules to follow. If we follow them, though, we should have a good time. Or we don't follow them. I don't know. That's what all it says on the Itch.io page for the summary was follow the rules or don't. I have a bad feeling if we don't follow the rules. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and play this game. Because I'm kind of curious about what all... What, what, what are the weird rules? Oh my god, yes. 10 out of 10 for this. My dear nephew. Greetings, Stephen. It is I, your Uncle Panko. I hope you are well. Your parents tell me that you are soon to graduate. A fine achievement indeed, Quentin. It feels like just yesterday you could barely walk and talk, and now you're almost fully grown. How time flies. Uh, did you just call me two different names? You call me two different names? Looking back, it seems that I haven't actually seen you in person since then, and for that, I apologize. I'm just so busy at the farm nowadays, which brings me to the point of this letter. I'd like to invite you to spend the summer here with me. It would be nice to have some help, and we can make up for all the lost time. First of all, you call me Steven, then you call me Quentin. I uh, don't... No, I don't think you actually know me. If you would like to accept my offer, Jeremy... Uh, he doesn't know me. All you have to do is take the bus to the farthest stop at the outskirts of the next town over. Once you get there, just follow the dirt path cutting through the woods. My farm is just around the corner. Hope to see you soon. I don't think he actually knows me. Uncle Panko. I have a feeling at the end of this, we're going to be sitting there doing stuff for the farm and then go... I don't have an Uncle Panko. <laughs> Who are you? It's gonna be one of those situations of just not knowing. I'm just... Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hear that note and I'm just gonna run. I'm recognizing that from the... Oh, there was an actual path to follow? Am I following the wisps of wind? No, for this is gonna be a situation of where I don't actually have an uncle. I don't have an Uncle Panko. I don't... I, my dad's an only child. Michael, my boy. Oh, good grief. I have a proper name and you're not getting any of them right. I'm glad that you decided to visit. Unfortunately, something unexpected came up and I'll be gone for the first few days of your stay. Would you mind doing some work around the farm until I return? I know it's a lot to ask since you'll be all by yourself, but if anyone can handle it, you can, Robert. I've left a few more instructions around the house to help you, and I'll take on the majority of the work once I get back. The key to the front door is located under the little goblin on the porch, and your room is on the second floor. Make yourself at home, Uncle Panko. This is a gnome, but you know what? Fair enough. Give me the key. I'm getting inside this house. Close the door. Oh my gosh, I love this style. It is so vibrant, so cool. And I love it when horror games use this because it's so misleading. It really makes you do a double take on the whole scenario, the whole game going, is it really? Really horror? Is it actually scary? Okay, our bedroom is on the second floor, right? We could probably just go straight to bed. Or we could go and see what that note is on the front door of the barn. Oh, I see a I see a sickle. I see a sickle. Uh why is there a, what n n never mind. You know what? My uncle's weird. I don't know if he's actually my uncle, but you know. What is this? Lenny, I see you found the barn. The cows can be quite rowdy, especially on Sundays, Thursdays, and the second Wednesday of every other month. How do you, how did you test that out? So if you hear any odd sounds coming from inside, pay them no mind. I fed them and locked the door before I left, so they shouldn't bother you today. Tomorrow, however, I would like you to let them out to graze. The key to the barn door is hanging in the entryway of the house. Please leave it locked until the sun comes up tomorrow. Uncle Panko, all right, will do. I'm glad that he knew that that was gonna happen. Uh, oh, there's another note. Dear nephew, apologies, but I've got to mention something important. Life out in the wilderness can be a bit rougher than life in the suburbs, especially at night. Not all the time, but enough that some caution is warranted. So before the sun fully sets each day, I need you to go inside of the house and remain there until it rises again. Today, specifically, you'll need to make sure to shut and lock the back door and front doors in that order, back, then front, before going to bed as well. C can I, can I ask why? Can I, can I ask why? I'm just gonna, I'm just I'm just gonna... Okay. Uh, so I actually fully locked it. Uh, that door, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I was pretty sure I closed them both when I walked inside. Oh, dear God. 
what kind of cartoonish monster am I gonna have to deal with? We're just gonna go upstairs and go to bed. We're just gonna. Which room is mine? I don't. Oh, they're both locked. Okay, so this is our room. I can't. I can't close the door. Delightful. I'd love to play some tunes. I'm gonna play Wonderwall. The bed wasn't highlighted. I just. Uh, what the fudge is the gnome doing in here? Dude, what the, how is there a note in here? I don't think my nut, Rodney. It seems you may have made a mistake during your nightly routine. That's all right, nobody's perfect. Unfortunately, that means that one of them got inside the house. This is fixable, but you need to follow these instructions exactly as I have written them. <gasps> it's because I went front and then back. Take a red candle from your bedside drawer and light it, then walk with it calmly to the downstairs bathroom and lock yourself in. There's a pillow and blanket in the cabinet under the sink in case you need it. The bathtub isn't exactly the most comfortable place to sleep in the house, but it's better than the alternative. Okay, so take every candle from your bedside drawer and light it, then walk with it calmly to the downstairs bathroom and lock yourself in. There's a pillow and blanket in the cabinet under the sink in case you need it. Whoa, what got in? What got in? So I didn't lock it properly. I hate it. Holy fudge. I am not looking back. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Yeah, no, I didn't follow my uncle's rules. My bad. I am so sorry. It could have just been a note just in case I did fail. I got let the I got I got let the cows out so they can go and graze. I'm pretty sure if I ran, I would have just died. Okay, that, who? So we already get a little glimpse of what it's like. We get a glimpse of what it's like if we don't follow the rules. Okay, now they're out grazing. Okay, cool, is there a... What is that over there? Can I close the barn? Can I, can I talk to the cows at all? No. Hey! Hey, you get back in there! You can bet. What the fudge are you doing? Get over here. No, my uncle is going to hurt me if you. No. No, I should have closed the gate behind me. I really should have done that. My uncle is going to get mad at me. My uncle is going to get mad at me. My uncle is going to get mad at me if you don't get back in there. Hey there, buddy boy. Yeah, come with me. What the fudge is that? What the heck? What the heck in heck is that? Now you stay with me. The cherry music is gone now. I mean, it wasn't all that cherry to begin with, but... Oh, good grief. Uncle Panko, you got a really weird farm. Okay, cool. What is this? Mogi, if you're reading this, you're probably doing well. I'm very proud. Besides caring for the livestock, I'd like you to harvest some of my crops today, the purple stuff to be specific. Grab the sickle next to the gate and get started whenever you're ready. Make sure to keep an eye on your surroundings while you're harvesting. The field is small. It's more like a patch than anything else. But some little rascals still tend to hide in there when the crops are at their tallest. Don't worry too much about it. Just stay on your toes and you'll do fine. Okay, cool. Uh, so what I'm hearing is I'm gonna get jump scared. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, excuse me. Oh, uh, excuse me. Where'd the sound go? Hey there, buddy. That's not a little rascal. Uh, that, that's not a little rascal. What are you doing? What are you doing in my crop? What are you doing here? What are you, I was about to say Grandpa's Field, but it's my uncle's. What the fudge are you doing over here? 
Can I break you? No, I can't. You're unbreakable. How many do I have to... Okay, I don't like this. I, I'm not liking this farm. I can hear the static. I hate it in this field, in this little patch. Do I do I have to get it all? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I hate it. What the crap, dude? What are you? What the fudge are you? Okay, he only said to do a little bit. Is this not enough? Is this is this not enough? Dude, I'm taking away his entire crop right now. I'm doing such a good job. I'm just amazing myself. I don't like how dead quiet it is. It's making me feel like I have to fill the entire silence with my voice. Are you... Are you just... Gonna hang out there or what? What are you doing? What do you want? What would you like? I'm ruining your hiding spot. Because you can't hide in here. Am I going to get in trouble for doing all this? Because I'm just taking all of this away. Oh, okay. We're just going to... We're just going to get rid of all, all of it. All of it. All of it's going to go bye-bye. Christopher, thank you again for doing all this while I'm gone. I promise you won't have to spend your whole summer here just doing work around the farm. Why don't you herd the cows back into the barn and take the rest of the day off? Just ring the chimes next to the barn doors three times. Exactly. And they'll take it from there. After that, you can head back on into the house. I don't think that's actually going to happen. Okay, so three times exactly, huh? One, two, three, form a line. Get in there. What happens if I had done it four times? Okay, so I have to lock back, then front. What the fudge do you want? Right, that's all. Can I eat anything? Nope. What do you want? What do you want? Little freaking gnome. Okay, so we didn't have to do the nightly routine. Rise and shine, today you're going to meet my chickens, or rather my chickens' eggs. They should have laid a good amount of them by now, and I'd like you to go out to the coop and gather them. There's a basket on the kitchen counter you can use to hold them. Just put it back where you found it when you're done. How are you still leaving notes when you're not here? I, I don't get it. Oh, one more thing. Chickens make easy prey for some of the local wildlife, and their eggs are even easier, so stay on guard and don't let anything sneak up on you while you're distracted gathering eggs. But most importantly, have fun. Uncle Panko. I don't think this is actually going to be an easy task, because now the fact that he said wildlife, I'm scared. <laughs> are you my uncle? Are you Panko? Are you Panko? Where's the freaking coop? Where is the bloody coop? That's not it, is it? No, that's not it. No, that I swear to God, that better not be it. What the fudge? I see you right there. Oh, sweet Lord. I do not like this. Are you actually going to do this all the time? Listen to the sounds. Listen to the sounds. I got it all. <laughs> I got all the eggs. I got it all. Okay, there's another note. Seriously, how are you? I think, I swear to God, I think you, the little goblin, are doing this. My boy, thank you again for helping out around the farm. I know it might not exactly be fun, especially not by yourself, but I hope you might grow to love this land as I have. Anyway, I think you've done everything important for now. I think, feel free. To spend the rest of the day as you wish. Just head to bed whenever you get tired. I'm sure I didn't forget anything. Uncle Panko. I think you did. Wait, am I able to go back outside? No, I didn't. No, I can't. I can't go back outside. Um, Can I go out the front door? There's the, there's the key. Okay, so we can do whatever we want. Whatever we want. So, not much for exploring that we can really do. So, he's going to be... Just popping in, teleporting, something magical. I don't know. Something weird. And he's just popping and leaving these notes. 
He, he's got to be doing something. I think we're just going to head to bed. And we're just going to go off to bed, get more notes in the morning, and we're still not going to question... Okay, so we're doing this again, huh? Are we doing this again? Okay, nope, I don't want to. Quite frankly, I don't want to. I, quite frankly, don't want to. I need a candle. I need a candle. You are not giving me a candle. How the fudge am I supposed... No, I'm going to die. This is how I'm going to die. This is how I'm going to die. I can't go in the bathroom. Nope. Why would you even want me to have the option? You want me to die. You want me to fail. You actually want me to step outside. It wants you to do this. It wants you to be so freaking curious. I don't want to though. I'm not that curious. I don't know if you know who I am, but I ain't that curious. I would like for my bed to be highlighted. Oh, dang it. You have me on mission to die. That's what, that's what you have. You have called on me to die. Hi there. Yep, yeah, knew it. Oh, thank God. Nephew. I think I forgot to mention something I've never forgotten before. The goblin that you took the house key from when you first arrived, there's a non-zero chance that it might have been replaced by a gnome, and if you took the key from it, you will have effectively invited it into the house to stay. I don't own any gnomes, but one of my neighbors does, and it doesn't like to share. I won't sugarcoat it. You're in serious trouble. By the time you finish reading this note, I reckon you'll have about one minute to find the gnome in the house and give it back before its owner gets inside to take it. Check everywhere you can think of. Around corners, inside cabinets, everywhere. It could be hiding anywhere. Once you find it, just open the front door and throw it outside. Literally, just throw the thing out. Uncle Panko. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, my God. You gave me one minute? Oh, my God. I hate you. Oh, my God. 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 Oh my god, take it! I don't want it! Take it! Take it! Freaking take it, you... Oh my god! Be gone, fuck! No! All oh, the impending. It's the feeling of it's coming and you have a countdown until death. I freaking hate this place. I, oh, sweet mother of... No! What was that? Nope, oh, can't open that. I'm gonna punch you in the face, I swear to God. Uncle Panko, there's my favorite nephew. How great to finally see you after all this time. You're quite a bit shorter than I remembered. I'm sorry I was gone for so long. I hope you weren't too bored here all by yourself. Hmm? Notes? Chores? We're creatures from the fields in the forest? Well, I'm certain I only sent you one letter and left one note on the front door before you arrived. You must have had a nightmare of some kind, and I don't blame you. It can be a little scary out here sometimes, especially on your own. Well, it's gonna be one of those situations. Well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. How about I make us breakfast, and then I'll give you the grand tour of the property. I hope you're ready for a summer of fun. Ending two, summer of fun. Oh, thank God. I do not want to know what ending one would have been. I think it was a bad ending. And I, oh my gosh. Oh, that was a lot of fun. I love this style. I love the look of it because, again, it is so misleading, like I said earlier. It is just, it is kind of creepy because you know it's a horror game, but it doesn't come across as a horror game. It's so good. I love that. If you want to check this game out for yourself, the link in the description below. Highly recommend that you go and check it out. Maybe see if you can get ending one and let me know how you achieve that. If you enjoyed this, though, make sure to smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this game. And if there's any games that you see me play for future videos or series, leave a suggestion down below. Take them all into consideration. And if you're new around here and you've been enjoying what you've seen, why not click that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified of my next video. I will see you all in the next one, though. Bye!